Well, hi everyone. Uh, thank you for, for joining and I'm glad to see you all. I'm Michael from MSF and I'd like to share with you our experience with uh, OCL for OpenMRS in the last months to improve our concept management. I'm sorry in advance if I will speak a bit fast and I'm sorry as well that I don't have amazing music in my presentation, <laughs> uh, which was great by the way, the previous one. Um, so uh, I'd like to go through the different key steps that we had to implement to use a CL for OpenMRS. So first, we, what we needed, we needed to create and manage our concepts in a central location for each implementation, be able to sync that content to OpenMRS. And in this case, we talk about an NCD project in Bangladesh. Uh, use that content and this concept in a BANMI in uh, registration pages and forms. And then at the end, be able to reuse that uh, content for MSF or for other, uh, for the community. So first we created the, the content in uh, OCL for OpenMRS. I will take the example here of uh, the diagnosis dates, which is a concept available in the CL dictionary, as you can see here. And in the new UI, you can uh, define all your content, but you can also reuse the content that is existing. So two choices, you can cherry pick what is existing in this example CL, or you can also create your own concept, your own content, and bring everything into uh, a dictionary for your implementation. So we have an example here, and you can see some Bangladesh uh, content. Once you have all your content together, mixing some CL content and uh, uh, your own content, you can sync that content in um, OpenMRS, which is our next slide. So this is kind of a real-time example. We are into OpenMRS and then you can see here that we import the content directly, whoops, sorry, into OpenMRS. Once we have the content in OpenMRS, the goal is to use it in, in BANMI and BANMI forms and we're using the, the form UI. So you can just drag and drop your fields. And here we will take the example again of the diagnosis date, put it in the, in the form, I will move forward. And then we use that form and the concept that was originally in OCL for polymerase in the registration second page, as you can see here, and save the information. So, um, what is great about this workflow is that we didn't uh, we we didn't have we didn't need to create all the content from scratch. We are reusing existing content, so that's great. Um, and finally, at the end of the workflow, we are able to uh, reuse that content for ourselves in other MSF implementations, but also to make it available for the community. We have some examples with COVID, NCD, uh, and a lot of other type of content. It's a work in progress, um, but yeah, that's available. So for MSF, the, the added value that we have into this is that we can use standardized terminology. It's easy, you have a great UI. Everything is centralized on that uh, platform. We separate also the constants between the content and the configuration. Like you can have two different people working on with two different things, which facilitate the, the workflow a lot. And the fact that we can also all see our content and concept really encourage the contributions among us. So um, if you're interested to learn more about uh, OCL for OpenMRS, you can join the OCL Slack channel. Feel free also to message me on, uh, on Slack. And um, you also have some links here if you want to look into it. So we have two things, Open Concept Lab, which is the backend, and this new UI, OCL for OpenMRS. Thank you. <laughs>